Restorative Treatment of the Malpositioned Dentition is presented by Dr. Antonio Mancuso and is supported by SICAN, makers and distributors of high-performance products for dental professionals. For all of our aesthetic cases, there's nothing more frustrating than having the lab uh, technician call you and that you have forgotten to send something. So I have devised this uh, prep appointment checklist which we go through all of our aesthetic cases and go through each item and make sure that it has been done or the information collected prior to dismissing our patient. Such items uh, that are on the uh, prep appointment checklist include a consent form that is signed by the patient, uh, preoperative photographs that uh, we have uh, slides of Jerry's case but we do also have intro camera photos as well that we send to our technician. Uh, we have our pre-op study models obviously we've taken. We've done our diagnostic preview or mock-up of uh, Jerry. Uh, the dental aesthetic assessment form has been completed which is basically our diagnosis and our treatment plan for Jerry. Our smile catalog selection we have done that on a previous appointment with Jerry, we've selected the enhanced mold. Uh, and also our color selection, we've already predetermined it was going to be from the uh, chromoscope shade guide from Ivoclar uh, at to be, uh, excuse me, 130, 120, 110 will be our three shades going from cervically to incisally. Uh, next item on the uh, checklist is our stump shade. We have selected our stump shade uh, prior to taking our final impressions, which was the ST9. Our final impressions were taken. Our symmetry facial plane relator was used to use uh, as a stick bite. Our temporization using the putty technique has been done. Imp impressions of our provisionals, uh, Jackie has been taking care of that. Our lab sheet has been completed. And our final pulse stop instructions have been given uh, by Jackie. Now on our lab sheet, uh, some items that I'd like to bring to your attention include such characterizations uh, on the porcelain that the laboratory uh, would want in terms of the amounts uh, of uh, incisal translucency, uh, incisal developments. Do you want the incisal to be flat, the incisal developments to be uh, there, or do you want absolutely uh, the, the most, which are mammalon development, the incisal edges? The surface anatomy, I typically like to have a medium surface anatomy. I don't like flat surface anatomy. Um, the incisal translucency, I like to uh, go to a medium. Uh, sometimes I will choose uh, heavy or light depending on the age of the individual. Incisal halo, I always uh, like on the porcelain restoration. The dental aesthetic assessment form has been uh, finalized. Uh, the enhanced shade guide, as I mentioned earlier, was utilized. In terms of our color mapping, we indicate the cervical stump shade of the individual teeth from the central to the lateral to the cuspid as being ST9. The overall body stump shade was an ST9. And then from cervically to incisally, our color selection being 130, 120, and 110. We've indicated the amount of translucency and the fact that we like an incisal halo. Overall, our instructions to the laboratory technician involve uh, the following script that has been pre-canned uh, and I basically just fill in the blanks specific to the individual case that we're treating. Today, in Jerry's case, uh, the instructions read, please fabricate empress restorations. I like the layering methodology in, in making those restorations. Our shade that we started prior to anything uh, was a 230, it was our starting shade. Um, patients do not want bulky or fat teeth, and so I've indicated that for the, the technician. Um, <coughs> we're going to ask for symmetry as much as possible, establish golden proportion, uh, close all diastemas, the enhanced mold from the smile catalog was selected. The most important piece of information you can give your lab technician is the ultimate length of your central incisors. From there is where he develops the smile line. So we've asked for 12 millimeter central incisors and that was predetermined from our diagnosis. We asked for uh, establishing canine guidance and to create a moderate amount of facial anatomy and to uh, have slight lobe formation uh, and some perichromata in the porcelain surface texturing. And finally, asking and to create a, an incisal halo. And that pretty well does everything that we uh, does it for everything that we need to send to the laboratory 
uh, as far as the lab's laboratory sheet is concerned. All this information is gathered together and sent to our lab with a date of return. Always ask for the restorations a couple of days in advance so you can pre-inspect them. Uh, I have had occasions where the restorations that I've received were either too long or too short relative to what I asked for, and so the, the case had to be canceled and, and sent back. And there's nothing more frustrating than having the patient in the chair when this is going on. If you have one or two days notice, it makes things uh, move a little smoother.